sorry, but what in the world have I woken up to? And they are dupes of the night ducks. Welcome to another weekly vlog from a very hectic start. I'm actually racing to a lunch now with a travel brand so there's not gonna be much talking till afterwards but I just wanted to check in and say hello, welcome to the vlog and I'll talk to you in a minute. <laughs> but what in the world have I woken up to? I'm very confused. Uh, what? I'm sorry. What? I didn't know it was still winter and I'm very confused. Yesterday was sunny and warm-ish. What? What is this? I have no words, but um, I do have a couple of bits to show you. So yesterday I went for the lunch with the Doda Grand, which is Dolder Grand, I think it's called, in um, Zurich. So I had a meeting with them and a PR, just like a nice little lunch, it was really lovely. And we just talked through like plans for the year and all that kind of stuff. Um, and on the way back, I decided to swing by Primark because I saw a pair of shoes in there the other week and I was like, really want them but do I want to buy them like don't know don't know don't know and then I thought you know what I actually have a pair similar that I'm gonna sell because they're a little bit too big so that's how I justified them um but it's these which you've probably already seen if you've been into Primark or seen any videos these are 14 pounds but these are better dupes than the ones that I had which were misguided and they were quite old and H&M do also do a dupe but with black laces so these are probably the best ones I found but I will link the H&M ones below because they are identical it's just the laces that you'd have to change out so I got a black pair and then they also had like a sage green which I really wanted but they didn't have my size there was a like bubblegum pink and there was a light blue and then there was also a neutral which I thought was quite a good solid option my air force ones are getting very like yellow i need to really vanish them and wash them and stuff so i thought they'd be a nice other pair to have and 14 pounds is such a bargain um and then the other thing i got was this which was 12 pounds but it's just a workout top with a quarter zip i don't know how it's gonna fit maybe let me try it on now actually but i thought it might be quite nice for the gym because when it's cold it's very cold in the gym and like if you're on certain pieces of equipment and the aircon's blowing directly at you it's freezing so let me give it a try i might wear this today actually if it fits oh it's looser than i wanted no 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 we don't like it no no i wanted it to be like this no 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 it's a no from me if you like looser fitting gym tops then absolutely but if you are like me and you prefer a tighter one no no we're not a fan so that one will be going back but yeah i just wanted to show you the shoes because they are the best dupes that i have found um james and i are going to attempt to go to the gym because i've got a work from home day today and i've got some podcast recording to do i've got some like other bits and pieces i want to get done and like just some admin -y bits um so we're gonna try and get out of the house just so we can move our bodies a bit and like feel like we've done something rather than just like slumming it on the sofa all day and it's only 7 a.m as well so i don't want to be from 7 a.m just like sat in the house i'd rather go to the gym first and like have a good workout and then come back and oh i've got a really itchy back come back and do my thing but this is today's gym outfit so i've got green sports bar from gymshark which looks like that on the back and then i've got my adenola leggings and james is actually also wearing <laughs> black shorts and exactly the same color green gymshark top but it's like a camo one like one of the men's ones he did choose it first um but we accidentally are matching but to be fair my gym wardrobe is basically just like black neutral green or beige 
like that's the only color that's in there i think there might be like one pair of like pink shorts or something but for the most part it's very very beige and that's because i just don't really wear color i just don't but green i quite like in the gym i have a lot of like mix and match green bits that just go together or like contrast and they look really cool so yeah I'm gonna sort my skincare out, try and find a long sleeve top to put on because it's cold. <sighs> Maybe I get going to the gym. <laughs> I don't, honestly, I'm dreading driving. I think I'm gonna ask James to drive because of the fact that I just don't like driving in this. I've been outside for two seconds. I feel like I'm in a little <laughs> wonderland. But the fact I was already covered in snow just from walking to the car and it's a two second walk. Like even the sunroof. So I've got this, which is from Bear Biology. It's basically a collagen and vitamin C powder. So you're supposed to take this every single day. One tablespoon gives you everything you need. So I'm gonna give it a try. I tried to make it like aesthetic, you know, romanticizing my life, putting it in a cute glass with a straw with my little milk frother, which by the way, I'll leave this linked. I bought this on Amazon um, after seeing it on loads of people's like what I eat in a days and like vlogs and stuff. But I've seen people use this for hot chocolate, for milk, for protein powders, for literally everything. And it's honestly so good. It's just this like tiny thing. I think it was like 10 pounds. Comes with a little stand, which is very cute. But um, it basically just froths everything. So I really like it for hot chocolate because it gets rid of all the lumps. So easy. And I've never had to put new batteries in and I've had it for like six months. Um, but you literally just like, Beep, beep. and then it frothed it really nicely but we'll give this a taste and see what it's like do you know what it tastes it tastes like strawberry but it's a very subtle strawberry and i think it does say on it that you can put it in cold drinks and food so i think it might be one of those things that's quite nice if you like mixed it into your porridge or you know if you're making like a smoothie in the morning like it could be good to put a spoonful into a smoothie so i might try doing that actually but you know what, for saying I normally dislike anything like this in terms of like drink things, um, this is actually really good. But I am also going to try in a minute. I also have um, some daily greens, which is supposed to be really good for adding into your morning routine. And I saw a video of someone using it, asked her what she mixed it with, because on its own it tasted foul. But she said if you mix it with apple juice, it's really nice. So I've got some apple juice in the cupboard and I'm going to try that with that. But this is really good. And it's also getting in some water for the day, which is perfect. So I'm going to have this. I'm going to have my greens and then I'm going to have breakfast. That's a lot of liquids in one morning, but I promise you it's fine. It doesn't matter. Maybe in future I'll mix them together because I feel like that mixed in because it's such a subtle flavour. I could mix that with the greens and the apple juice and it would just be like a nice like fruity thing. The possibilities are endless. And yes, I still have a plaster on my thumb. Um, it's still really sore. It's not bleeding anymore, but it's I mean, it's been a week and it's still not fully, fully closed. Like the top little bit is still not sealed, but it's getting a lot better and the steri strips really help. So I'm just keeping it covered so that I don't catch it or anything, but it's definitely still healing and it's definitely going to scar. But I don't really mind. Me and Tuna now have a bond and I have not used Tuna since. <laughs> so these are the FS greens. So they have a long list of ingredients that are good for you. But this just says five gram serving, so one heaped teaspoon. Oh, did I do the wrong amount? No. Wait, that says five grams a day, which is a tablespoon or three teaspoons. This says five grams, which is a heaped teaspoon. What? Do you know what? I actually have a five gram thingy, so I'll use that. But this is just saying five grams mixed with water, smoothie, etc. So I'm gonna mix it with apple juice, like I said, because apparently, that's a good way to do it. So I just bought cheap apple juice and we're gonna try it. I tried it without, I didn't like it. So hopefully having it with apple juice is gonna make it taste way better. But I'll use my little five gram scoop. Oh wait, I should probably put this in first. I'm gonna do like that. I know this isn't like the best thing to have because it is like 
obviously full of sugar and stuff, but if it makes this taste better, I'm all for it. Okay, five grams is in. Where's my little... Please taste good. Ready? Hmm, that's actually really good because it just tastes like apple juice. I think that's bearable, I could do that. Maybe this is my new morning routine. Watch this space. If you're not watching maths, we cannot be friends because maths is my favorite thing ever. The Australian maths is so good. I literally wanted to watch it. So last year and the year before, me and James streamed it from Australia so that we could watch it early. This year, he wouldn't let me do it. He said we had to wait for the UK one because he was like, no, like we've got too many series. Granted we did. We were watching like White Lotus, you, um, like so many other things at once and he was like look just wait like we don't need to watch it right away We'll wait and watch it in UK time. So we are And it's so good I'm up to date so any spoilers won't be spoilers But maybe don't give them just in case someone else in the comments hasn't seen bits, but it's so good like I'm honestly loving it but I kind of can't wait for the drama to start like I prefer it after the first dinner party when they've all started to like mingling get to know each other because then I feel like there's more like there's more juice because there's more like stories involved rather than just each individual couple but it's so good so i'm just cooking dinner i've got a girls chat with all my friends i say all my friends there's literally three of us in it but um <laughs> but it's our maths chat so like the chat where we only talk about maths so we don't use it until 7 30 then we use it to talk about maths and then we don't talk again and it's so good good morning it's Friday today and I'm hangry, so this is gonna be a short clip. But I've just filmed a hair routine, so you can see the full way that I do my hair, which is why it's been a bit quiet on the vlog, actually, because I've been filming it across a couple of days, like when I've had rosemary oil in, etc., and just showing you like the full routine. So that's coming soon. But I'm also in one of those moods where I'm just like in such a funk, and it's been on and off for weeks now, and it's driving me insane. I'm just having one of those days where I just feel really like, I don't even know how to describe it. I just feel the. <laughs> So we're just riding the wave. My period is coming. I'm going to blame that because um, it's been like, I'd say it's been like the last eight or nine days, which means it's definitely due to that, I think. But um, I just feel crap <sighs> and overwhelmed and stressed and yeah, life. And I've got my mum coming this weekend, which don't get me wrong, I'm so grateful that she's coming and I can't wait. But you know, when you just feel like, Bleh, and then you've got to entertain at the same time and it's just a lot. So we're gonna go for a nice dinner later and I think tomorrow she wants to go for a nice long like walk slash hike somewhere. So hopefully that'll be nice and chill. Um, but yeah, I find it hard to entertain when I feel like this. <laughs> Not that I do it very often, but like, you know, when you just don't feel 100%, it's so difficult, but I'm gonna go have some breakfast and get on with it, filming and doing some bits. I also just feel so bad because the vlogs have been crap. Like the last couple of weeks they've just been so empty. <sighs> I need to eat, I'm absolutely starving. <laughs> Hello, I have just got back from town. My mum is here for the weekend, but I thought I'd give you a little haul at the end of this video and share a discount code with you because I'm working with Naked on some Instagram content and they've given me a code. I'll put the code on the screen here and then I'll let you know the discount and stuff because I can't remember from the top of my head what it is. But I'm gonna show you everything that I got. Might not be a try on, it might just be like showing you. But either way, this discount code is valid for I think a couple of weeks. So if you use it, let me know. And if it works, let me know. But I think it should be, if not, let me know and I'll kind of tell them and then we can get the code extended and whatever. But a few exciting things have turned up. The first being this, which I am so excited about. This is from Estee Lauder. There is like, <laughs> A runaway concealer hidden under here but they've given me like their core collection so we've got the um, Renew and Glow Advanced Night Repair this is my favorite serum ever 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 for a night time I love this then we've got the Futurist which I've never tried but I'm very excited to give a go Daywear my best friend swears by this I've tried hers and it's so good it's like a um it's like a sheer tint release so it kind of like matches your skin tone apparently but it's really really good we just turn the brightness down I'm very bright and then we've got Double Wear, my absolute favourite. I wear this foundation all the time in winter. Um, we've got the Futurist um, Hydrating, what is this called? The Futurist Hydra Rescue Moisturising Makeup. So I'm assuming that's more of like a BB cream vibe, which is really good for summer. And then we've got the concealer, which is like under here, but I can't get it back out, like it's tucked away. Mm. It's here. 
There we go. Um, again, another favourite of mine. So very excited to use all of this and try the products I haven't tried before. But like I said, I've tried most of it and I love it. Um, then we've got... Okay, I'll show you the two parcels that came in the post and then I'll show you what I bought in town just now because me and my mum just went shopping. But um, okay, this is the naked parcel. So we've got... I've got a linen shirt in like a nice sandy colour. I thought this would be really cute for on holidays. Um, and just in general, in this time of year, like I really like wearing shirts like this, white jeans or something. Looks really cute. And their linen bits are actually really nice. I'd say arguably as good as the H&M ones if you've tried those, just depending on preference. I also do have some H&M ones that I wear loads and I absolutely love. I got this striped jumper, which I thought was so adorable. This is in a medium. But how nice is this? It's like an oversized like striped jumper so nice i wasn't sure how i'd feel about this trend and i've kind of fallen in love with it so i got one but it's the um denim maxi skirt and this is in a nice gray this one actually has a slit at the front and the back and i'm kind of here for it mum do you remember these do you remember wearing these yes <laughs> the denim maxi skirts <laughs> and I this had, looks very long though and i had one that was down to here yeah had you used to wear it all the time with one. a little ribbed white ribbed bodysuit yeah i had it for ages that one i love that as well it's really comfortable <laughs> My brother is calling, so she's got to go again. Yeah, so I got the denim maxi skirt, which I love. I think it's an absolute vibe. I wasn't sold on the trend. And then I saw the, like, grey-coloured ones and was like, mm, actually, I could get on board with this. Especially, I think, like, into summer. You know, if you wear it with, like, a nice little white T-shirt and some trainers or something. Um, I got this, which is, like, a little bandeau top that's got, like, a twist at the front. I thought it was quite cute for with some, like, jeans and stuff. Um... I'm creating such a mess. I got this little bralette, which I thought was adorable. Um, I feel like you couldn't really wear it as a top because it is fully like sheer, like you can see full boob. But I just thought it was quite nice for just wearing under like shirts and stuff into the summer. Cause I quite like wearing like black shirts and then having like a lace bra poking out. Okay, there's a few more bits. We have four more things. This little dress, which I thought was so cute for summer. I'm gonna show you a picture of what it looked like on the model because this is really hard to show you. But it's like a halter neck tie back dress. It's like a little mini dress. And I thought it would be so cute for those summer nights when you just wanna wear something really simple, like slinky, cutesy. Um, and I think it'll do a really nice big bow at the back where it's got the long tie. So that's perfect, very timeless. I've got, this is a long satin dress. I remember that much. Yeah, so this is like a long, satin cowl neck tie back can't really show you like this because it's really difficult but it's just like a nice yeah satin long dress which i thought would be good for summer again all of this is in a small apart from that medium jumper that i showed you um then i've got some shorts which are matching the linen shirt because i don't actually have any linen shorts of this color and i thought why not get some cute little linen shorts to match and then i can wear them as separates all together um i got this jacket which I thought was adorable. Not my usual style, but I fell in love with it and thought I just had to have it. But it's like this nice kind of short sleeved jacket, shirt vibe. I thought it was really cool. I thought you could double denim this really nicely. And I do have a similar denim color in some Levi jeans already. So I thought that'd be a bit of a vibe. And then last but not least, I got this little twist bag, which I thought was good for, again, into like spring summer as a little like handbag because I don't really have many black bags and I wanted one that was like a cute little one that I could wear for like into an evening or something that's just like a nice diddy diddy little bag and then from fourth and reckless I have got this little cropped blazer in a really nice like khaki sage color very very cute um let me, can I put these things while I'm showing you put them back on the side and then I got these trousers, which are actually part of the suit. And I thought they were so freaking cute. Um, I fell in love with these. They're like the turnover style ones. But I thought those with the cropped blazer is such a vibe for spring, especially with the colour. And these I got in a size 8, I think. Yes, a size 8. And then I also got... Oh my god, I'm making such a mess. These like linen striped trousers, these are so cool. So they've got like, I don't know what you can see on camera, but they're like wide stripes. Can you see that? I don't know. But I thought they were really nice for summer again. 
um very cute love the color love the fact they're different textures but they were really beautiful and then the matching jacket to that which looks like so like this nice like soft linen blazer this will be really nice because it's kind of like a more dressed down blazer so this would be nice on like holiday if you're chucking it over a dress or something because it's quite nice and lightweight and then <laughs> this is what i got from town we went to a couple of different places so first up we went to the bookshop and i picked up these two books so i got um healing is the new high by vex king and i got manifest dive deeper so these are two that I've heard really good things about and I wanted to just give a read. I'm gonna add them to my book collection. There is a book collection video coming soon, just sharing all the like self helpy books that I have slash love. Obviously they won't be in it because I've just bought them, but I thought I'd show you for the sake of this video. Um, then I picked up a couple of sports bits from H&M. So I got this sports bra, which I thought was adorable. This was 12.99 and it's like a, can you see? I can't really. It's got like a one shoulder vibe. I don't know how this is gonna fit. Um, and I don't know if this is gonna be like supportive enough under the boob, but I will try it on for next week's vlog and let you know. And then I got another one of this black t-shirt, which I wear to the gym all the time. I live in these, I wear a small. These are arguably very, very similar to the Adenola ones, but I actually think better. And they're 8.99, so much cheaper. And they've just bought out a neutral color, which I didn't get because I already have another version one, which is basically the same, but I did get the blue version. I thought the blue was quite nice not sure if I'm going to keep the blue I'm going to try it with like a few bits in my gym stuff because it can go with black but I might see if it goes with like my nude stuff as well so I've got some options and then from Paper Chase they had a sale so I bought a couple of notebooks for future manifestation journals because they were half price and I thought you know what that makes them like six pounds and these are my favorite journals so I got this like palm print one I got a stone paper one in this like soft linen kind of fabric and then i got this one that actually says notes and thoughts on the side and i thought it was really cute so it's like the same kind of vibe but i thought they'd be good future journals for my gratitudes because i'm about i'd say like 40 percent of the way through my one i've got at the moment and it's actually falling apart so i thought i'd stock up and also then i might be able to use one as an actual journal as well as having the gratitude ones so yes that's what i got in town um i hope you enjoyed this little haul i'm gonna go sit with my mum for a little bit and have a cup of coffee maybe a little biscuit or two and chill but i hope you liked this little haul and i hope you like this weekly vlog i'm gonna say goodbye now um don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe hit the notification bell and i'll see you next week bye guys this has been a chaotic last clip but i hope you enjoyed it <laughs>